All right, let's go ahead and run through one more purchase order here, and I'm going to do that on the handheld this time. We'll do uh, another purchase order here. We'll choose uh, Big Book Publisher this time, do a transaction for them here, purchase orders. And let's go ahead and just get something real simple like a coffee table book. We'll get a case of those, and we're just going to hit save and close. So that was purchase order 40, I believe, there. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to receive this using my mobile barcode scanner. So let me bring this thing up right here. This is the mobile barcode scanner, or I should say a simulation of one. It is a ruggedized industrial unit designed to take some falls to concrete. It has a pistol grip with a little trigger on it. You squeeze when you want to scan something. It's very similar to the uh, scanners you may have seen in, say, Walmart or Target if you've been in there and they've been doing inventory work in the aisles. Uh, they may have them in a holster there that they pull out and scan some stuff. It's got a nice little keypad on it there. This one's a little bigger than life size on your monitor. Um, and there is uh, a little bit more information about these available out on our website, which is warehousemanagementes.com. And that is the, um, uh, if you go out to that website, what you want to click on is the barcode hardware button in the main menu bar. And you'll see a, a submenu there that says uh, certified hardware. Click on that, it'll show up prices. These are available either for rent or for purchase. Um, there's also a thermal transfer printer that's out there for rent or for purchase, an access point, uh, holsters, all that sort of good stuff, everything you need, basically. And so you can find out a lot more about that on that website. I'm not going to talk about that today. What I am going to show you today is the workflow on this particular unit here. And so the screens on this are the exact same as the screens on the actual wireless unit that you'd have out there in your warehouse. Um, in my case, I can't do any scanning because I don't have a scanner hooked up here. It's just showing on my screen. Um, so what I'll do is when I say I'm going to scan a location, I'll type in the location instead. All right, so the first thing we want to do here is, uh, in this case, we're going to do some receiving. I've already logged into this. And so we're going to click on the receiving button here, either using our uh, stylus, you know, and clicking on that, or because most of the warehouse folks don't like to use styluses or anything like that, we have the main menu, um, actually all of our screens here, have numbered options on the side, and you just use the keypad down here to enter in the number that you want, in this case, number one, for receiving. It's asked me, where do I want to receive to? We've already talked about the with or without bill. We also offer, offer an option here for to dock or to stock. The difference is basically to dock is a two-step process. It means I'm going to receive everything to a docking location, then I'm going to put it away next. To stock means I'm going to do it all in one step. I'm going to receive it and put it away in one step. Most people immediately think that this stock will be faster because it's one step, and it is for one item. But if you have lots of items, mixed pallets coming in, things like that, it's usually faster to receive them to dock and then uh, have someone else put them away at the same time or um, put them away as a secondary operation there. In this case, I just got my one item that's ordered, so let's go ahead and just receive it to stock, and we'll do it uh, with Bill again this time. All right, so that's me for my PO number here. And so if this has been barcoded for me uh, on the paperwork or on a label on the product, that'd be great. I could just scan that, which would be really nice. Same with the bill. If that was provided to me in a barcoded format on the label or on the paperwork, I could scan that as well. If not, I'd type it in on the little uh, keypad down here. Now it's asking me for the item. In this case, my item barcode's already on there. My manufacturer puts that on for me. My item barcode is going to be 301 here, so I'm going to scan that and see if it comes up and finds my coffee table books. And it did. Uh, for my demo purposes, I make my barcode the same as the uh, first number in my item name so I can remember what my barcode is for my demo. Yours probably wouldn't pop up like that, but that is why it did that. FIFO date is pre-filled for me, and I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to leave that to FIFO tracked item, and it asks me how many I'm receiving. Now, you'll see I'm scrolling off the side a little bit here. This has to do with my simulator. It has nothing to do with the actual unit itself. It doesn't do that. It's just when I display this in the simulator, it does that for some reason but there's still enough room that you can see what I'm doing here. And it's asking me how many I want to receive. Now, once again, I have my units of measure here if I want to change them, but I'm going to say I just want to receive the one case that I ordered here. That's what showed up, and off I go. If I needed to print some labels, I could do so at this time for that particular item I just received. If not, I'm going to hit Continue. And now it says, great, since we are receiving the stock, remember, it's asking me now for the location. What is the location that I'm receiving this to? I'm going to go out to one of my stocking locations, like A1. I'm going to scan the A1 location, say this is where I'm putting it. And it says, wonderful. Is there any other items on this PO you need to receive? I say, no, that's it. Nothing else is here. I am finished. So at this point in time, what you have is it then circles back around and swings back and says, 
says, okay, what do you want to do next? Do you have another PO you want to receive? So that's the receiving process using the handheld. All right, 